Rick James. <laughs> Rick James, the Chicago tour. He had the show. He was performing out here. They had a gig in Chicago. All these other bands is going to be there. It's going to be epic. Rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. <laughs> Rick had basically fired or separated for certain members that was in his previous band. Now, Rick was bringing in new people, and he had brought in this other guy to do the horns. Can't remember his doggone name. But he was a white guy who was on the horns. Uh, brought him in and record and do the horns and all this stuff. So Rick was in there, and Rick was pushing him. Like, his rehearsals and all this, he wanted it to, to jump. Like, this is supposed to be it for Rick. Like, this is it. Like, they finna know Rick James. This Chicago. You can't, you can't fake it. So Rick was driving, like, like, driven. Like, hitting it all night long, drinking cognac. Sipping that cognac and sitting there going over the music. And he like, it ain't right. So they was like, man, we need a break, Rick. Break? I'm going to break my foot off in your eyes. If you don't, you come in too early one more time, you could probably do that in Cincinnati. You can't do that in Chicago. Chicago! Come on! Where, where is Debbie at? Debbie! Debbie! Hey, let's bring me some cigarettes. Well, what? I don't care what you're doing. Oh, what do you mean? F me, you dirty bitch. Duh. Babe. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's hit it. Come. Yeah. Uh. 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 That's that's not uh uh that's all that's all that's all no what what what's wrong we ain't paying you enough how can you not know what the keys are we done went over this a thousand times you didn't know what to do it what's wrong do I gotta get somebody here to know how to play the damn horn I thought you played horns that's what it said you ain't played nothing yet. Would you play in the choir or something? Play that damn thing like you're supposed to. All right, here we go. One, eight, eight. Hit it. Hey, cut, 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 cut. Is this a Tonight Show? I ain't running a Tonight Show here. I want to hear real horns. Look, stop that. Time out. Time out. Time out. Everybody go get some water. Let me talk here. Jeff. That was his name, Jeff. Jeff. Come here, Jeff. Now, you know I'm Rick James, right? You don't want to make Rick James look bad. And this is about Sophia, ain't it? I'm thinking, I'm guessing that's her name. It's about Sophia, ain't it? What about Sophia? <laughs> That's what Jeff's like. What what about Sophia? Look. I only had Sophia for a week. I'm not even with Sophia no more. You know, I moved on. Sophia, my wife? <laughs> That's that is a true story. Rick James. <laughs> Rick James told this man, look, I had him. It was only for about a week. And he was like, Sophia, my wife? Chill, y'all ain't married. Stop lying. She don't even wear the damn ring. Y'all engaged. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we, we broke it off. We broke it off. This is, this is a long time, long time we've been together. But that, that week that we were together, I let it go. I let it go. I had to let it go. So don't yeah, throw that out your mind. You ain't got to worry about Rick James and her no more. We do. Me and Sophia, we done. I got Debbie. So long as that was gone, <laughs> now this guy who didn't have a problem, he didn't know what Rick's problem was. 
Now this is on his mind. Now he really can't play the horn. <laughs> He's trying to like, let me get to the phone. And Rick like, that's what you're going to do? You're going to get on the phone. You ain't finna go play the horn? I ain't playing no. You know, no, I'm fine your ass. I'm fine your ass. Oh, uh, I'll find another job. Yeah, I'm leaving. Like, Where to get your ass out? Find somebody else. Can't even play the damn horns anyway. He ain't gonna get no job. Not no job playing with Rick Jane. <laughs> so the guy, Jeff, went and got another, he was playing with another band, and they was like, hey, you got Jeff? Yeah, fire his ass. What? I'll write you two, three songs, nigga. Fire him. Rick James did not want him to have a job anywhere. <laughs> he was on his you know what. And then years down the line, he was playing somewhere and he was in a band. He saw Rick and Rick came and apologized to him and told him I was on drugs really bad during that time. And I apologize to you as a man. You know, and anything you need me to help you with, like I'll come perform at your show, do anything, we'll do some, and they actually worked again together. So that was very nice to Rick down the road. But yeah, that's another thing with Rick James. A lot of people didn't know. But I'm out.